And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. When last left off we had just entered Junktown. Um, and we're at that... Yeah, we have talk we talked to the guards and we learned that they have some trouble... Not trouble... Trouble. Some trouble with um, a gang called the Skulls. And we had gotten a quest uh, to help them bust the Skulls gang. So apparently um, a fellow by the name Gizmo is running some sort of illegal business here. Together with said gang. So let us continue. And... We see Cougar, Doc Morbid's assistant. We see Flash. Um, okay, let's talk to them. How's it going? Uh, good and you? The Cougar is always fun. Hey, I gotta know. You need to talk to my man Flash here. He can help you out. You're closed. Come back later. Um... When is the doctor here? The doc sees patients from 8 to 5. Now get out of here. Okay. Um, do we actually mind if I loot your bookcase? No, you don't. I'll have your grenades. And while we add it, actually, you can have my rocks here. There you go. You see a medical table. Okay. Uh, what's actually the time? Okay, eight. So in half an hour, um, should be in theory be able to see the doctor. Okay, let us proceed to the next part of Junktown. Yeah, these two companions uh, looked sort of suspicious. And indeed they are. See Junktown peasant. Ain't Junktown a sight for sore eyes? Um, well, let's say the beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. And he is not at all annoyed if we steal his cat's paw magazine. You see, you have no idea. Okay, we've got a magazine. Upon further inspection, you still have no idea what this is. It weighs one pound. <laughs> okay. Uh, and there's apparently the place of Kilian Darkwater, which is aptly enough called Darkwaters. Watch out for Gizmo and his cronies. This is Kilian. It's general store. Kilian's a good man, and they have plenty of stock. Okay, does he have a water chip? help you? Probably not. Uh, who are you? The name's Killian. Killian Darkwater. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? I'm Mr. Man. Uh, how about telling a bit about this well, town? Junk town's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. Tell me about these problems. From outside, we've had the occasional to do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls, and I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. Hmm. Well, junk town's not much, but it's home. From outside, we've had the occasion okay, do you... to do with the cons. Yeah, we have this dialogue. Do you own the store? may not be as big as some in the hub, but 
people usually find what they're looking for. Take a look around. Okay, let's talk to you well, again. Howdy. What can I do for you today? Um, I want to buy well, something. That's a damn fine coincidence. That's what this store is here for. We got about everything you can need. Let me show you some things over here. Do we have a water chip? You probably don't. Uh, you only have bottle caps, survival handbook, and some uh, stem bags. Okay, how much will you give me for this magazine? Okay, 50. Okay, how much do you want for this 300? Okay, uh, let's ha have all this junk. You can have all these fruits. Well, I, are they actually... Hmm. I think they're actually... Um, they have an effect on you. So maybe let's trade you something else. I don't need, need like this crowbar. All this... Okay, I'm not trading the laser pistol with you, but I will trade this one ordinary pistol and then you can give me some uh, some bottle caps. So this would be... Can you actually... Okay, you, you can um, enter numbers. Okay, that would be... Now I have to make... Uh, That should be enough. And I miscomputed that by 10. Okay. Okay, apparently he does not have any doesn't have water chips lying around. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I go into your back room. Will you get annoyed? I don't think so. Oh. Actually, um, that was not okay. What you just witnessed was just, um, was an attempt to murder Kielian. But he is not, so the assassin is not dead yet. So let us quickly go back and uh, Okay, I think they've got this under control. Or do they? Okay, that's kind of bad. Um, or is it? You earn 400 experience while in killing fight of the assassin. Now what the Uncle Sam hell do you think you're doing here? Uh. Oh, this is your place. You're damn straight this is my place. Now get the hell out before I make your head a wall deck. Okay, uh, Listen, but... thanks for saving my life. Yeah. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? So one second he's really annoyed at us as breaking into his back room and now he's very happy that we saved his life. Uh, I'm in. You have to wear a recorder and tape Gizmo confessing. Or plant this wiretap in his office. Either way. And we got him. Okay. Alright. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. And good luck. Let us loot this assassin. Um, you can sell his gun later on. Let us actually save. 
Just because... Yeah, I might... Just in case something like this happens again. Okay, so... You shouldn't um, break into his place, apparently. But he's... Doesn't seem to be too bothered right now. We have yet another quest. We have to find Gizmo's place. And either plant a wiretap. Um, or record him confess. That's a guard. That is probably just um, another generic Junktown peasant who doesn't mind if we just loot his place. And he has a small dusty box of some sort. And indeed he does not a television dinner. You're not sure, but it's definitely not edible. Not sh quite sure if it ever was. Mmm, yummy. Let us loot also his dresser. Ah. Uh, okay, I kind of not want to actually to steal his money. That would be that would be wrong, uh, but I will still take your money. Okay. He doesn't mind, right? Yeah, this. So sometimes this game is a bit inconsistent because apparently peasants will just let you take their stuff without becoming annoyed at all, and sometimes um, if you, for instance try to loot Keelan's place, he will threaten to murder your face. Okay, let us talk to a tough looking woman. Welcome to, to the crash house. How can I help you, stranger? Um, I'm looking for some info. I'm just a hotel manager. Bob, don't ask too much of me. He has 50 caps. Tell me what you know. I know you're 50 caps poorer. I don't do the gossip thing, okay? Come back if you want a room. That was stupid. Let us talk to her again. I want to rent a room. Sure, it's 25 caps a day. Uh, number one is yours. Okay, which one of these is number one? Probably this, probably this room. No. I don't want to rest, I want to loot this place. And get my 75 bottle caps worth. Yeah, this is empty as you could have imagined. No, I don't want to rest here. Uh, let us have this crap. You see iguana on a stick. Some charred meat and vegetables on a cooking stick. And when we come back, folks, um, we will maybe wiretap Gizmo or spend money on useless things. So until next time, folks, until then.